Hello everyone and welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this interesting algebra problem. We need to find of x. We have x to the 6th power equal to x minus 1 to the 6th power. And of course we need to find our x from here. As you can see we have 6th power so it's not like an easy equation and we need to find a really good approach. How can we solve it? I'm going to show you my approach, my method of solution to this equation. So at first we bring this x minus 1 to the 6th power on the left hand side. What we will have x to the 6th power and e minus x minus 1 to the 6th power equal to 0. I just bring these on the on the left hand side. What I'm going to do next, take a look. We have 6th power, so it's really good to express this x as x cube to the 2nd power square and minus, right here we'll have x minus 1 to the 3rd power and as well square, so we can write it in another bracket, square equal to 0. So as you can see I just rewrite this expression like that and this like that. So this is this is the same. But right now I'm going to apply a identity, for, identity formula. We will have a square minus b square equal to a plus b and a minus b. So let's apply this formula right here because we have difference of two of two squares and this is this is our case. So let's do this. We will have at first a plus b, so we will have x cube plus x minus one to the third power cube and the difference times the difference x cube minus x minus one to the third power equal to equal to zero. So we just apply this formula. And right now we have a really good product, we have product to parentheses, so it's a little bit easier than, than this expression. What are we going to do next? Take a look right here, we have a sum of two cubes and right here the difference of two, two cubes and of course we need to know the formula. The first formula, let's remember a, a cube plus b cube. How this formula looks like? a plus b, so the first is a sum, and the second a square minus a b and plus b plus b square. So this is our first formula. We apply this formula in this case, the first case. But right here on the right hand side we have the difference of two cubes. So we need to know the formula a cube minus b cube. How this formula looks like? a minus b right here and right here all pluses. So a square plus a b and plus b square. So we just write these two formula and this formula goes right here. So we apply this formula in these parentheses. So let's apply all of these formulas. At first sum of two cubes and right here the difference of two cubes. So first parentheses. I write these parentheses right here. So we will have first parentheses x plus x minus 1. This is our first parentheses a plus b and we need to multiply it by x square minus x in parentheses x minus 1 and plus x minus 1 square. So this is our, our first parentheses. And we multiply it of course by the second parentheses, the difference of two cubes. What we will have? We will have x minus x minus 1 minus 1 and of course multiply it by, by another parentheses. We will have x square plus x times x minus 1 and plus and plus x minus 1 square plus I write this right here x minus 1 x minus 1 square so as you can see a, a really long expression but let's let's simplify this let's simplify this expression so this parentheses x plus x minus 1 so we'll have 2x minus 1 right here let's erase this expression we will have x square minus x square plus x and of course right here plus all formula x square minus 2x and plus 1. This parentheses x minus x and minus 1. So we will have only 1. And this parentheses x square plus x. We will have x square plus x square minus x and all these formula x minus 1 square. We will have plus x square minus 2x and plus 1. So as you can see a really long 
formula. So at first we, we write this 2x minus 1. I write this right here. So we'll have 2x minus 1. Second parenthesis. Take a look right here. x squared minus x squared. We can cancel this. And of course, as you can see right here, we'll have x squared minus x and plus 1. x squared minus x and plus 1. And the last parenthesis, this one equal to 1. So we need to simplify this one. We'll have x squared plus x squared and once more x squared, we'll have 3x squared. Minus x minus 2x, we'll have minus 3x and plus 1. Minus 3x and plus 1. So finally we simplify this, this expression right here. So we'll have three parentheses. This one, this one and this one. So we need to solve it equal to 0. So 2x minus 1 equal to 0, 2x minus 1 equal to 0, and from here 2x equal to 1 and x equal to 1 half. So this is our first first root, x equal to 1 half. But let's find more roots because right here we have 6 power, so we need to find more roots. x square minus x plus 1, let's solve this. x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. So from here really classic classic case because we'll have a equal to 1, b equal to minus 1 and c equal to 1 and we need to plug in all of these all of these elements to our formula we will have that our x equal to minus b we'll have 1 plus minus square root of b square 1 minus 4ac so minus 3 as you can see right now we will have complex roots and over over 2 and if you're interested in this, of course, you can simplify this a little bit using complex number. We'll have x equal to 1 plus minus square root of 3 can be written as square root of minus 3 can be written as minus 1 times minus times 3. And right here, square root of minus 1 equal to e. So we can easily write this one as square root of 3 times e and all over all over 2. So we'll have our our answer. But here we'll have two roots with plus sign and with the minus sign. And let's solve the last parentheses. We'll have 3x squared minus 3x and plus 1. Let's solve this. What we'll have? We will have our once more classic quadratic equation. So 3x squared minus 3x and plus 1 equal to 0. How can I solve it? a equal to 3, b equal to minus 3, and c equal to 1. And let's plug in all of these elements. I plug in right here, we'll have that our x equal to 3 plus minus square root of 3e and dividing by, by 2. This is our last pair of last pair of roots. So right here two roots, right here two roots, and right here one, one root as you can see right now. If you still have any question, write a question in comment, write your suggestion in comment about another method. Of course we can apply six root right here in the beginning and we will have faster method, but I want to show you a really good approach with, with the, these formulas. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.